Hello. In this video, I'm uh, going to be changing the wheel on the wheelbarrow because uh, I got a flat tire. We've got a problem here because we have a lot of hawthorn trees. We have a lot of hawthorn and uh, they uh, are quite uh, nasty with all these sharp thorns and uh, when they get uh, clipped we get uh, a lot of them on the ground. So when I uh, bought uh, the wheelbarrow I was warned that uh, I would get punctured eventually and when we had the hedge cutting machine come round and cut the hedges it threw a lot of branches around and of course I went to get uh, something in my wheelbarrow and got a puncture. I thought rather than try and keep fixing uh, the pneumatic wheel if it was going to keep getting punctured it would be better to buy a solid wheel. Unfortunately I couldn't buy a cheap wheelbarrow with a solid wheel when I bought my wheelbarrow so it was a case of buy a cheap wheelbarrow and then when I get a puncture I'd get a um, solid wheel and put it on so that's what I'm going to do. The uh, pneumatic wheel on my wheelbarrow got punctured I think it's because of all the hawthorn branches that were lying about especially when the uh, hedge cutter went round and cut everything and threw a load all over the place. I was walking down the lane the other day and something was hitting me on the back of the foot and when I looked there was a piece of bramble that had sunk into my boot and uh, a thorn had gone straight through so I had to pull that out of my boot and these are quite thick so boots so these pneumatic uh, wheels don't stand a chance really with those things so I've gone and bought one of these puncture proof wheels and uh, if I put that on hopefully that will stop that problem there's no point fixing those wheels because it'll just get punctured again so uh, rather than mess about I thought I'll spend the money and by the time I've bought a pump and a puncture repair kit I messed about might as well just buy one of these so let's put that on and see how it goes first I need to take off the old wheel now there is a nut and a bolt at either end. So I'm uh, just going to loosen that till it's uh, loose enough that I can uh, take it off with my hand. The nut fell off. Well, fortunately it landed in the rim of the wheelbarrow so I can uh, retrieve that. So let's take the bolt out and remove the wheel. I need to keep the wheelbarrow axle for the new wheel. Right. Now it comes with these attachments for different size connectors to the wheel. So it comes with these different size attachments and this is the size that we want and they need to be fitted in there. Right, so if I push that in. Wobbly. Once I put the other side in, it's a bit wobbly, isn't it? Just do a quick whack with that. It's going to fill Right. Yeah. 
so this central piece goes in and we can put that on the barrow. Now this feels a bit spongy but then I suppose it's it's got to, it's not a solid wheel it does feel a bit rubbery and spongy but I looked around and this is exactly the same model that three different uh, shops sell so uh, it must be good otherwise they wouldn't all be selling it Really? Yeah, no, no uh, snags or anything. Make sure that's tight. All that remains is to give it. Test drive. Oh yeah, that works fine. Smooth, no snags, no problems. Excellent. Job done. Well, that's the wheelbarrow fixed. Hopefully, I will not have any more problems with punctures and flat tires. In the next video, I'll be getting back to the interminable job of clearing ground and digging up weeds. So, goodbye for now and come back soon.